You are transported to year zero with any object from the present with you. Which item do you choose to make people lose their minds the most? Grey's Olympics Almanac. Complete Olympics statistics 1 to 50 AD. Just don't let Buff get his hands on it. Lead hula hoop. Not the answer I was expecting, but man would people lose their minds at that choose. That would be goddamn hilarious. Well, the time machine would likely work as well as anything else. I can't believe nobody else, including me, has thought of this. If the point is to blow people's minds, I'd take a gold-plated Apache helicopter and materialize in year zero at the top of Mount Olympus. I'd fly my golden chariot, circling Athens a few times so everyone notices, land it at the Parthenon, and emerge in a flight suit. Minds blown. You know how to fly an Apache helicopter? A lighter. If Hocus Pocus taught me anything, it's that's making fire in your hands will freak people out. Also I'd probably die without one. I was thinking a Costco jumbo box of matches. Probably hastily pick something up at the pharmacy toy aisle before I become the fourth king to present Jesus with a gift. And they brought him gifts of frankincense, myrrh, gold, and this weird a squishy ball thing with these crazy friggin spikes all over it. A camera, and when I show them their picture, I tell them I've captured their soul. Then they kill ya and smash the camera. Humanity then never invents a camera, because it captures souls. Good job. Deleted. You're the only one that includes the solar charger. Nice. This is my boomstick. Edit, my god. Thanks for the gold, and for the younger of you, there's a link to explain my comment. Yata but 243. S smart top of the line. A map of the world. Roman Empire in America. I thought if this too. Something like a detailed geological survey map of the world, in the right hands, would be incredibly powerful. You could find paths through mountains, efficient reed routes, and undiscovered lands. With a little study you could locate resources. The edge this would give someone over people without any means to accurately map would be pretty mind-blowing. There's an old story I heard about an interview with a centenarian after the moon landing. They asked this little old lady what the greatest leap forward she'd witnessed was in these last 100 years as the world moved from horses to automobiles, the jet age, the nuclear age, and then the space age. And her reply was the mop. When she was a little girl they had to scrub the floor on their hands and knees. Then someone attached a handle to the scrub brushes and women could wash the floor standing up. It was the single greatest development in her lifetime. This thing, the stick attached to a scrub brush, impacted her life more than anything else from Einstein to Henry Ford. Please don't tell me your answer is a mop. An atom bomb is sure to make everyone lose their mind. Make sure to set its detonating time to the day when it's found. Flex seal your door is splitting down the middle? There's gaps in your houses? Your cart is broken? Don't you guys worry, I got you covered. To show you the power of flex seal, I sawed Noah's Ark in half. Adam Savage's titanium alloy flying iron man suit. Possibly with a megaphone mounted in it. Why the megaphone? Well, antibiotics and medicines in general. Because if I don't, it'll probably kill everyone with all the diseases that I will bring from the future. Also, they will likely kill you. A good chisel going to go make some cave writings with a bunch of info on chemistry, extending into a little of quantum mechanics. About to confuse the duck out of historians. Edit. Yes I realize when year zero is. The point of caves is twofold. One is that I can do it in peace. The other is, so preservation and location aren't an issue. Writing it on paper could easily get burned or lost. A thorough carving should last, although I may need to do multiple caves in case one collapses. Saying it need to bring a chisel is a joke, that my whole goal when going back is to duck with present day historians. As for chemistry it's, because I just got my degree in it, and I'm working on my masters. I won't remember everything, but almost all of chemistry is very new relative to math, so I'd know enough to really mess with people. Pretty much everything I know, was discovered in the last hundred years, and definitely in the last five hundred. As for the quantum mechanics, it's because the wave equation is simpler to draw than an atom. This is by far my favorite answer, but people nowadays would totally claim it as a hoax, or aliens. 
as many spices and seasonings as I could in their modern day little shaky containers. To say I would be a rich man would be an understatement. Behold, a thimble of powdered nutmeg and 20 cloves. You could choose which lord to turf out when the king asks you which estate you'd like. My prosthetic leg for my amputation. Just being alive would be a feat and the leg would be the icing on the cake. The leg would be the icing on the cake. Well now you have to bring ingredients for a cake too. You don't need to bring anything to make them lose their minds. If my studies have taught me anything, it's that when doing a time warp, it's the pelvic thrust that really drives them insane. It's just a jump to the left. I bring the book, How to Invent Everything, by Ryan North. I'm a time traveler, seems to be an appropriate choice. Was just thinking of this book. Really want to read it sometime. The Lincoln Memorial. You never listed a size constraint. A gigantic marble Abraham Lincoln is now hidden somewhere in Australia, having sunk into the dirt that was too weak to hold it. Imagine archaeologists finding a perfect duplicate of the Lincoln Memorial in Australia dating 2000 years old. What would the public reaction be? A solar powered calculator. It works without needing batteries, which aren't around. Doesn't need the internet or to be plugged in. Innocent enough to make people go wow, but not think of you as some kind of heretic that needs to be burned at the stake edit. Thank you to whomever sent the Bravo award. Edit 2, now silver. Thank you. You're probably overestimating what it'd take to be burned at the stake in year zero. Deleted. Especially if you shot their heads. Kazoo. For obvious reasons. Obviously. In bringing the Bible to see what was bulges and what wasn't, then you'll end up losing it after dying from some disease. Someone else will take it and use it to spread tales, and bam, you've come full circle and been the cause of the religion. <laughs> Toilet paper. It even made people lose their minds in 2020. God, that feels like a year ago. <laughs> a chis ton of cocaine. Duck, yes. Snorting cocaine and getting busy with the Roman soldiers in the bathhouse is every gay man's fantasy. Hente body pillows. I mean, it's probably a smarter idea than bringing a phone or whatever other piece of technology that needs internet and has a battery life. Why is a phone such a popular answer? Jupiter. Jupiter's an object from the present. Trust me, it's gonna make waves. Monkey paw curls just sent back with a statuette of Zeus. It bring a bicycle. Nobody would ever be able to catch me. Phoebe in awe of my ability to travel anywhere I wanted 10x faster than them for free and not have to feed and train a horse. The problem with many devices is the battery. Bicycles don't need batteries. So, I'm not sure it would matter what I took back with me. My body carries thousands of bacteria and pathogens against which the immune systems of the people I will encounter have no conceivable defense. I will quite literally be a walking plague, bringing death and destruction anywhere I go. I can't bring enough medicine to help even one hundredth of the people I'm likely to encounter. Even if I could, my reputation would precede me, eventually, and I would be killed from a distance and likely burned. My time among the ancients would be characterized by unavoidable tragedy and pain, and, since I speak no language spoken by them, I would be incapable even of warning them of the calamity I both contain, and, sadly, for all intents and purposes, have become. Therefore, if I absolutely must be transported back and cannot simply refuse the time travel, I must choose a boat to bring along. Although I will almost certainly go mad due to lack of companionship, it'll do my best to find a deserted island with some kind of wildlife susceptible to domestication, and do my best to survive for my allotted span, cursing those who send me back, and reciting to myself, occasionally, those meager scraps of poetry I once memorized as a child, never suspecting that they would ever be my only connection to that other world, the one that Seems like a dream, now, before the Isle of Pigs, which, although my contemporaries will never know it, will be until the moment of my death the Isle, where humanity's future waits. Write a book please. A Gerald R. Ford Clan aircraft carrier complete with nuclear powerhouse and all the bells and whistles, planes, choppers, boats. Were you by any chance, dressed as a pirate in McDonald's in Oregon on Saturday? 
No joke, a guy dressed as a pirate in McDonald's asked me if I could take one item back in history, what would it be, and then he proceeded to tell me he'd take an aircraft carrier. Hang on, you mean 0 BC or 0 AD? Actually, neither exist in the Gregorian calendar. Year 0 was 1975. Pol Pot declared it to be year 0, a new start after a total break from the previous government way of life. It was supposed to usher in a communist utopia. Instead it led to the Cambodian genocide. Not sure what I'd bring, the people were already pretty freaked out, after being marched out of the cities and me to die. No no, I've done some coding. Year 0 was 1970. Jack Black. You can't just objectify Jack Black like that. One fully loaded a Brahms tank. Great out of fuel in one day that was fun. A laser pointer with a solar battery. I'm gonna scare the chis out of some people with a harmless beam of light. Or attract giant cat-like creatures who will eventually work out you are the source of the red light that they can't touch, but they can touch you. A history book. Imagine telling about the future in so many different ways. Telling them about medicine, vaccines, flying machines, better agriculture practices, how to build better technology, and a printing press to help spread the book around. However, who knows how empires will fight and colonize with this knowledge, and imagine how different the future will be from this edit. Yeah the book will probably be biased, and I can't correct or explain to them other events because of the language difference, but that book will probably be kept in a super safe place, and while the English language developed, they'll start to decode it. And if they do, it'll still be a good thing, because they will still develop technology a few hundred years early. To them it would be predictions. Learning the future only makes people more likely to change it. Vibrator. Then we can cure the hysteria. A lighter. Or flashlight. Or one of those little dinosaurs. And you put them in water and they magically grow bigger. Or a tampon. My dude only thinking about men. My guitar. I won't be able to do much with a cell phone or a gun long term, but with 21st century instrument craftsmanship, I imagine I can consistently wow people. You could be the first annoying guy who plays his guitar at parties. Probably some fake magic equipment. Chiz I could be Jesus too right after he died. Jesus too. Christian Boogaloo. Condoms. Might want to bring along some deodorant as well. The time machine that brought me there. Thank you very much. Smart thinking there. Wikipedia on an e-ink display, powered by a hand crank. How big is Wikipedia? A book of math, physics, and some engineering projects from around the industrial revolution. All written in Latin. Also enough gold to get me to Rome. Do you read Latin? Because that going to be pretty frustrating if you don't. A Rubik's Cube, and when I solve it, I will be their king. Also bring instructions to solve the thing. There is no year zero. There might be some time in the future. Op never specified which direction we were traveling in time. Maybe some cataclysmic event will happen, and survivors will dub that year zero. Either way, I'm bringing Tamagotchi. It'll either be futuristic high tech or an ancient relic of a bygone civilization. Also I'm probably not gonna speak the language, so might as well bring entertainment. I'd bring a saxophone, and become the coolest cat this side of the Silk Road. Full series of the old farmer's almanac. I would totally bring the same. The information would instantly make you a king's consultant on agriculture. Maybe a calculus book, or any other math book. Rather take a fancy tech gadget. Plastic wrap. Martin the Magnificent? The New Testament, but he'll rename the Gospels Luke and Matthew to Bill and Ted. Now we'll have the Bible and the Bible too. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure and Jesus will lose his mind. Most righteous of you. I would take a camera, use it to take photos, and then make modern day historians lose their minds with what I found. Cheating? Maybe. Are you placing these in a crypt for discovery 2000 years later, or do you have a two-way time machine? A printout of Wikipedia pages detailing major events that would happen in the next 100 years, including details of solar eclipses and storms and natural disasters. Then I'd pretend to predict those happening. 
gonna be fun seeing everyone lose their minds. Oh, I think I may know what Nostradamus did there. A condom. Then see who isn't born in the future. Does everyone have to share it? I will bring gold. Why? Salt is cheap here, and trades for gold 1, colon, 1 there. I'm going to activate hard mode on this one, and say a Nerocon. I can probably make all other sorts of things like penicillin, to cure the plague and vaccines for stuff like smallpox. Corn will change everything. The entire earth. Just boom earth hits earth. Best answer so far. My dog. Now witness the firepower of this fully armed and operational battle station. Fully provisioned and crewed us Gerald R. Fort. And two harder boiled eggs. A vial of COVID-19. The time machine that took me back so I can come back. A Shrek movie, so we will have at least a 100 movies already before the 2000s. No need to thank me. Nice try but I'm not about to get murdered. A stop sign noting else just a stop sign. My desktop computer. Like just the physical computer would blow their ducking minds. The symmetrical design, hard lines, plastic, metal etc. would look alien as duck. I don't know how much more their minds would be blown if I could also somehow sneak in a monitor and about 50 solar panel chargers to power it on and then show them my desktop background and then a game and some porn. Make sure it has RGB. Pogs. I would bring the pogs. Spices. Lots of people today will think like WTF bring iPhone or something. But by year zero, spices were one of the most valuable things. So, I will get my spices, get to year zero, and tell everybody that I'm from year 2020, and that you can buy spices almost everywhere. Hell, bring a huge bag of it, and once you've made your point start selling it baby. Time to make it rich. A picture of earth taken from outer space, which can't even convince certain special people living today. Bop it. Twist it. A pug. This is a descendant of wolves. Wolves, I tell you. The pug breed is 2000 years old, from China. So you'd have 20 ish years a head start, but specialized dogs were already a thing by then. A calendar showing that year zero doesn't exist, yet, but it will. Be patient. A printed copy of Wikipedia. It would have a significant amount of knowledge that could be applied to improving society. It would also be an insurance policy, as I would be the only one to be able to read modern English. It removes most of the incentive to kill me and steal the object I brought. Yeah, I'd spend your lifetime teaching people your language so they can read it. The alternative would be learning this and then spending the rest of your days writing a translated version knowing full well you will never finish. It bring a light bulb to flex on Thomas Edison. A colossal vat of liquid THC. I would go to remote villages, dump it in their communal water supply, and watch them all lose their minds. They'd run around screaming about gods and demons and black magic. It would be pretty funny. What if this is what happened, and Jesus was just a time traveling prankster? Instead of making wine and food, he just did a little slate of hand on an audience that was tripping balls. Fidget spinner. A box of them. Complex items disposably cheap, made with high quality bearings, uniform manufacturing of small parts, and modern materials are tangible and understandable, yet light years outside their reach. An iPad says he's a witch with a magic book. A fidget spinner says he's a man with science far beyond our own. Hash H-E-L-O. Deleted. Empty bottle of Coca-Cola. You must be crazy. Oh my, you watched until the end? That's ducking awesome dude. Thanks for watching.